James Wines. This wine is next from the producer Col Giorgia, Poggio al Vento, Brunello de Manfacino Reserva 2013 Vintage. Stay tuned and we'll talk about this outstanding wine. Always a pleasure to be tasting Brunello de Maltalcino Reserva wines. It's not every day that I get to do this and it's nice that it landed on my tasting table. It was very nice to have a presentation and conversation with Count Francesco Maroni Cinzano about his family's winery. Now the producer has built up quite a library and I believe has every single vintage and has an extensive uh, collection of wines that they produce over time. And so it'd be nice to taste some of those in the future. But uh, I'm very grateful to be tasting this wine right now. So there, there's really, you know, people do look forward to tasting Brunello de Mantacino, myself included, of course. Now, Col di Orcia, Poggio al Vento means a windy place, basically. And it's a single vineyard planted in 1974. It's 350 meters above sea level, which is about 1,150 feet above sea level and 14.5% uh, ABV. This is one of the most expensive wines I reviewed in my video channel. $162.99 suggested retail price point. Now, next I'm gonna talk about the winemaking, the vinification of this wine, and then about aging. Now, the vinification of this wine is manual harvest, selecting the best grapes in the vineyard, as well as the cellar. Now, the fermentation occurs in still tanks at controlled temperatures with a 25-day maceration, ensuring optimal phenolic extraction Malactic fermentation is in concrete. Aging of these wines is three years in 25 and 75 hectoliter Slavonian and IEA oak barrels with a refinement in bottle. And uh, so when you see a wine like this, this is the release wine 2013. This is 2021. So, you know, it's nice to have the producer, you know, definitely that's what Reserva would mean, right? It's holding back. It's uh, letting the seller do the aging for you. And I think that's, you know, again, adding up to the price point. Again, a very, very small selection is available to the marketplace. Distributed in 70 countries, the United States gets an allotment as well. And so these are really fine wines to be tasting. Maybe it's a celebratory dinner, but it's really think about uh, hallmarking a fantastic experience with this wine. So if you do taste this with your family, enjoy a little bit before pouring this and enjoying this with your dinner, but enjoy it on its own. So red cherry on the nose as well as earthy notation and i would even say like a porcini characterization which is absolutely beautiful uh, additional notes on this would be a bit of graphite suede atomo forest and next the palette characterization so i compare and contrast this against say the non reserva wine and to me this is just even more acid forward if that were possible it's even hard to speak right after tasting this wine, but that's a good thing. And uh, imagine, I think this is just gonna age phenomenally well. So I wish I could just hold this back for 10 years and taste that wine. While I think it's gonna have some similar characterizations that I'm tasting today, it's gonna be just a little more age in characterization, but a really fine, beautiful wine. And the acidity is gonna keep it vibrant and uh, drinkable for a very long time and enjoyable and refined. So this is a notation of red and black cherry notes, clove, sage, graphite note is very evident as well as a dried red rose petal 95 points out of 100 points more information on the producer down below questions and comments please list them there and that's where the like button is, so please hit that button subscribe button is there so please hit that button and if you've already done so molto grazie to you i do appreciate it and also you can reach out to me on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and wordpress stay tuned for more wines to come i'll post uh reviews of the col dorcia wines right up here in the youtube cards so you can see I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Grazie and salute.